Hello gentle listeners all. I thought it might be fun to give a very quick video introduction to episode 196. In the words of Tom Lehrer, I'm really not sure why, but nonetheless, here we are. So I wrote this episode for a few reasons. Firstly, I know that many of you are keen to find out more about what mattered to the ordinary Joe, with or without an E, and so there's quite a lot in this episode about that. Although when you listen to the bit about contemporary ways of describing society, you might want also to think of the phrase great chain of being. I didn't include this, but I regret that now. Essentially, as I talk about how deeply hierarchical is English society, you might note that society to an extent gives authority to those closest to God, who is of course the greatest authority at the top of every chain. And everything has its chain of being, the heavens, the angels, you know, with seraphim at the top, for example. Even plants have their chain, with the humble fungus at the bottom, which seems a little harsh. In society, the king is, of course, closest to God, and the father is considered closest to God in the household, and so again accorded the greatest authority. The great chain of being as concept helps describe that deep love of and belief in hierarchy, it reminds us why Richard II, for example, so viciously snarled at the peasant rebels in 1381, once he'd subdued them, A rustic you have been, a rustic you shall remain. Because the peasants had offended not just the social order, but also God. And reflect what a problem Queen Mary will give everyone when a woman becomes the monarch, in a fundamental contradiction of the great chain of being. Anyway, sorry, didn't mean to warble about all that. The other reason I wrote the episode is because I know just how popular the Tudors are. And therefore many people might want to ignore all that medieval stuff. And so I thought I'd give them a place to start. And while I'm warbling, I should say that I was feeling a little resentful about the position of the Tudors when compared to the Plantagenets. But having been researching and indeed remembering, it is at least worth saying, isn't it, that the 16th century is one amazing century. It's not just Henry and all his wives. There's the Reformation, a transformation of society. Figures like Thomas Cromwell, Drake, the tragedy of Queen Mary, Mary Queen of Scots, Elizabeth, the Armada. I mean, wild. England at the end of the century looks so very different from how it looked at the start in far more fundamental ways, I think, than you can say of, for example, the 13th century. So, I shall put my resentment aside. Anyway, in the unlikely event any of you have actually got to the end of this ramble, I commend episode 196 to you. Do let me know what you thought of it on the website or Facebook, and have fun.